Ready. Set. Curtsy. I'm a DK martial artist. Swing for beginning. I know. I'm going to develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that could reduce my mental growth or physical health. Number two. I know. I must develop self discipline in order to bring out the best myself and others. Number three. I know. I must use common sense before self defense. Never be a beast more offensive. Number four. I know. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a winner. Number five. I know. This is. We are. We are. We are. A song. Ready. Set. Courtesy. Alright, so on um, Black Belt Test is tomorrow. Alright? Like 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 we're we're here today and Black Belt Test is like tomorrow. Alright, so on um, if you're trying to access the fact sheet on on um, for the written portion on your phone. It won't work unless you scroll all the way down to the bottom. It should say like view full page or view desktop view or something like that. You want to view the full page and there should be a sidebar with like a bunch of different options. Uh, you go to MAK Black Belt History. All right. And then on there you'll find um, there'll be like a diagram of all the different instructors that on um, that led up to the McCoys. And then you'll see Universal Kempo Sheet and, uh, like, First Degree Tungsudo Sheet. And then, so you click on the Kempo one. Um, yeah, so that was something that, um, was kind of tricky to deal with. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I guess Black Belt Test is tomorrow, so if you're a, uh, candidate, make sure you got all the stuff that, um, the, the guidelines say. Um, all your parents have... A document with the guidelines so yeah cool all right so uh black belt test all right you guys know the line from jurassic park uh like don't move they can't see you if you don't move well black belt test is the opposite all right so if you're not moving you are the only one that they can see all right um there, there will be lots of yelling, lots of shouting, lots of spit, but thankfully they'll have masks so that it doesn't go everywhere. There'll, there'll be everything you can imagine, but on. Uh, yeah, so you'll feel beaten down, you'll feel terrible about yourself, but just know that the instructors, they don't look at you any different at the test than they do in class, all right? They still have the same expectations they well they have higher expectations for black belt tests but they like you know it, they don't hate you but it'll sound like it so like chill all right so this is what the uniform should look like all right you have this is unfolded so like um obviously when you wear it the two sides will switch but um on the left sleeve you have the American flag and your SWAT and if, if you're a fist and chevrons um, and like Delta and all that stuff. You have that on this sleeve, all right? That's on my left. You have this is the student creed patch. You have that also on the left, uh, like peck. And then on the right side, um, you have the Korean flag, all right? So, um... Yeah. Um. All right. You need your bokeh. All right. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna do the bokeh form. All right. I'm going to do it once on this video. All right. I'm not going to slow it down by the count or anything. I'm just gonna do it. All right. Now, on um, after you do it once, you do five push-ups. Then you do it a second time, you do 10 push-ups. Then you do it a third time, you do 15, fourth time, 20, and then that's, that's it. All right? So, yeah.
Oh yeah. Right? And then the most important part. Ha! Swish. Alright, so that's the bogan form, alright? So you're gonna do that four times, alright? And you're gonna do five push-ups, then ten push-ups, then fifteen, then twenty. Alright? Cool. Alright, so when I see the pictures, I want to see all four sets of push-ups, alright? On. So I want to see... Now, I'm going to add to this, alright? So the five push-ups are going to be fingertip push-ups. The ten are going to be diamond. The fifteen are going to be knuckle. The twenty are going to be regular, alright? So, um, yeah. Alright, so we're going to do the poking form, alright? Again. But this time, I want to see all three pieces of power, all three principles of, of power in your form, all right? So we got the moves down. Now I want to see the power behind it, all right? So we're going to go back to the knee. I'm going to give you the first couple of um, ways you can use these principles. You guys are going to come up with the rest, all right? So we're here. Boom, you rotate the wrist to strike. Boom, all right, look. Walk up, all right. Now that we're on our feet, we're anchored, we're gonna rotate, and we're not just moving our feet like this, all right. We're also moving our hips. So, as, as we move our feet like this, we're gonna move our hips like this, all right. Our hips are also gonna snap, all right. So, boom, all right. Now, when I rotate, well, actually, you guys try it, all right. Start here and rotate to here, all right? How, how do you stop yourself from moving that way? How do you stop yourself from going like that? You use your feet, right? So think about where your feet push. Do they, pu do they push forward, down, up, sideways, at an angle? Figure out where they, they push, all right? Um, like for me, I'm pushing at a downward angle this way. All right, so if the ground is here, my foot is pushing this way. So that way I have stability sideways and up and down. So boom, I push that way, all right? So that's, that's how I plant myself here, all right? Now this one, same thing. You push with your foot, boom, all right? So Keep going through that and find like the little pieces where you can add rotation and back of mass and anchoring, all right? And, um, yeah. Another way to think of anchoring, uh, because that, that seems to be the most confusing one for, uh, for me, um, but anyways, uh, think about like, like if I, if I have my foot, all right, and with the ball on my foot, I, like, I hit the ground like that. All right, I my foot is moving down, and it doesn't it doesn't slip it doesn't slide like that right. But if I take my foot and I kick it this way, all right, I go boom. All right, my foot my foot slides forward. All right, this, this is a hardwood floor, so it's gonna like you know stick and then uh, move and stuff. But but like imagine being on ice. All right, if you move your foot forward, like only forward you're going to slide and do the splits, all right? But if you take your foot and go down, it stops right away, all right? There's no, there's no way that you're going to kick this way and then slide, all right? Um, so yeah, that's anchoring. It's pushing down on the ground to stay planted. All right, so there's also another... Uh, move that uses a ton of anchoring, all right? I'm sorry I'm, more, I'm focusing a lot on anchoring, but that one's the one that is always confusing. Um, but anyways, uh, when you're in this horse stance, all right, and you have the sword like this and you push up, you're also pushing off of the ground to get as much force as you can, all right? So think about, think about if there was a big heavy box, all right, sitting right here, and I was, I was sitting down, all right, and I tried to push it with my feet. Would I have much power? Like, just as I am right now, pushing it with my feet. Would, would I be able to push that box? Maybe a little bit. But now, let's say, all right, my wall is right here. 
I'm right up against my wall. If I'm leaning against my wall, and then I push against the box, like, think of, think about, like, you know, how easy would it be to use your feet and push if you have the wall against you, right? So that's kind of the same thing, right? Except instead of pushing this way, you push up and down, right? So something like a big heavy box is there, and you're pushing off of the ground to push up on the box, right? Um, yeah, so just a little bit of an analogy there. All right, Ash Cry Form 10 Part Batman, all right? So we're in our guard stance, all right? We have cup and saucer here, step, boom, all right? Now we do AK3 down the line, boom, 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 boom. I'll back up for this. Roundhouse kick, chomp, chomp, guard stance, all right? We've been working on this, all right? So spin hook kick to that way, then that way, then that way, then that way, all right? So boom. All right, so we got that. Now, hands on the back hip to the front left, to my front left corner. So it's, it's you're also going to the front left corner. Up walk chop. Here, up walk chop. All right, and then here. All right, so that's the second half of AK-10, all right? You guys are gonna practice that on your own, all right? And this time, what you're going to do is you're going to do on, um, you're going to do the form, all right? And then you're going to touch wall, wall, jumping jack, wall, wall, jumping jack, all right? You're going to do that uh, three times, all right? Then the next time, you're going to do it five times, and then seven, and then Practice AK-10 one more time, and then that's it, all right? So it's AK-10, three wall wall jumping jack, all right? Then AK-10, and then five wall wall jumping jack. And then AK-10, seven of those, and then AK-10 one more time, all right? So go ahead and do that. All right. Now, with AK-10, you're going to go back and you're going to add all three principles of power, all right? For this one, all right, um, I want to, I, I want, like, one example that, like, stands out, all right? I want you to think of one thing that stands out that you can really use anchoring, really use backup mass, really use rotation, all right? Um, something that, like, emphasizes it more than the others, all right? Like the Boken form, when you're in horse stance, and you're pushing up, that's a whole ton of anchoring. There's a little bit of rotation, a little bit of backup mass, but it's a ton of anchoring, all right? So you're going to go through, and you're going to find which parts emphasize which, all right? And I want to see one example, all right? Cool. All right. So my d, &D player's handbook has been getting, uh, has been used for this so many times, he's tired of being punched. So I got my monster manual, and I actually want to open this up to a random page, all right? Oh, how perfect, all right? So you guys uh, might know the uh, show Stranger Things. This is what the Mind Flayer actually looks like. That's, what, that's, that's actually where this comes from, is D&D, &D, all right? So, um, yeah, let's see. Um... Wait, where's his information? Oh, there he is. All right. Mind flares, mind flares, also called illithids, are, are the scourge of sentient creatures across countless worlds. Psionic tyrants, slavers, and interdimensional voyagers, they are insidious masterminds that harvest entire races for their own twisted ends. Four tentacles snake from their octopus-like heads, flexing and hungry anticipation when sentient creatures come near. So, they're, they're pretty scary, all right? Imagine a whole race of these guys coming to your, to our planet, to Earth, and, and either capturing 
or uh, or killing literally everyone that they see. That's crazy. All right, that's our cool little monster for today. All right. Um. Now, oh yeah, we need the book. Oh my god. All right. So they're punching us. All right. We're gonna step back. Boom. All right. Step. Boom. Kidney strike. All right. One step. Two step. All right. Pretty simple. They punch. We step back. We block. All right. Now their their hand is still here. We're gonna turn the book. Step. Push their arm to the side. All right. Now we have this. Jab the corner into their kidney. And get away. All right. Um. Yeah. So with this, you're gonna need a lot of power. All right. Um. Because what I've been doing is I've been teaching this as you know you block and then you move the arm out of the way. You have to really push their arm in order to get their body to move, all right? So if I punch, all right, I punch, you block it, moving it like that is not going to open up my kidney. What you want to do is you want you want to hit it like this so that way it opens up my kidney, all right? It's right here and it's ready for you to strike, all right? So yeah, so if I would punch, you would hit this pretty hard to get me to move over and then strike, all right? Let's try this a few more times, all right? Step back, boom, 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 and get out, all right? Um, yeah, um, black belt test, there's gonna be, um, there's gonna be quite a bit of self-defense, all right? So, um, if you could take this and improvise with it, not just the candidates, but all of you guys, I want you to take this, use the block and literally that's it just use this block and then do whatever you can on your own you could you could block and then step hit the arm to the outside except you know that also leaves this this arm over here open to hit you so i don't know but figure out what you can do with this book all right um yeah it's gonna be a lot of improvising all right all right, so self-discipline. I'm gonna have a little bit of a quiz and it's actually, it's, it's more of a test, all right? So I'm gonna ask questions, all right? If you get the questions right, you do five push-ups. If, if you get the questions wrong, you do 20, all right? So um, this, is, this is asking, you know, do you know the information that I'm gonna, gonna say? And also, do you have self-discipline, all right? Do you, will you listen to yourself and do the push-ups if you get it right or wrong, all right? Uh, first question, um, if I'm climbing up the shelf, all right, I've used this example so many times, so uh, this one should be an easy one. If I'm climbing up the shelf and I'm trying to get the cookies off the jar, off the, in the jar off the top shelf that my mom told me specifically not to eat, if I'm climbing up there and my mom says, Sensei B, get down, and I go, okay, mom, and I, I, I climb back down, is that self-discipline? No, no, it's not. But if I tell myself, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be climbing up the shelf. I'm going to get back down. So I, I climb back down. Is that self-discipline? Yes. It's actually even better self-discipline if I don't climb the shelf at all. All right. Uh, let's see. Next. Um, ooh, all right. I'm going to give a couple of... Um, things and you're going to tell me what am i describing all right um it, it starts with an m it's a it's a pretty long word all right um three cookies is is a pretty good amount all right 18 cookies is too much all right uh let's see uh 30 minutes of tv is good it's relaxing two hours of tv it's kind of a it's kind of a lot, all right. Um, so there's there's a good thing, all right, and it's good when you have a little bit, but if you have too much, it becomes a bad thing. All right, do you have your answer? Drum roll, please. Moderation. All right, so if you got moderation, do five push-ups. If you didn't get moderation, do twenty. All right. Um, yeah, so next one, all right, um, you're in class, all right, and there's this, this one kid, he is the most 
obnoxious kid you can ever imagine. He's throwing pencils. He he's sticking you know erasers in everyone's ears. He is I don't know picking his nose and sticking it under the desk. He's uh you know running around trying to make jokes uh like nonstop um and they're not even funny like uh I don't know constantly yelling when you're trying to do work uh and you think you know what I've had enough. So you start balling up your fist, all right? What what's this called? If if I if I ball up my fist, I'm really angry, and I decide, all right, I'm just gonna let it go. What's that called? It's anger management, all right? So anger management is when you get angry. There, there's something there's something that really makes you mad, all right? And you want to you want to yell, you want to get violent, but you tell yourself. No, that's not the right thing to do, and you relax, all right? So, um, yeah, that's self-discipline. Ready, set, courtesy. I'm a decade student of martial arts, and I live by principles of black belt, and they are integrity, concentration, perseverance, respect and obedience, uh, self-control, humility, indomitable spirit, knowledge, power, Black belt. Courtesy. Alright. So, black belt candidates. Alright. Um, black belt test is tomorrow. Um, like, like, tomorrow, tomorrow. So, if you're taking this class at 5 o'clock on, on Thursday night, uh, that's, you have 24 hours before, uh, death. So, um, yeah, start saying goodbye. Um, yeah, so, um, be at the school before five o'clock, right? You have to be out of your car and like ready to run at five o'clock. So show up for like maybe four forty-five. All right. Um, you know, make sure you're you're ready to just get going. The second the clock strikes five, you're ready. Um. Next. Um. Oh, the fact sheet. Remember, if you're on mobile, scroll down all the way to the bottom. There should be a thing that says like view desktop. Or like view full site or something like that. That's how you're going to access the MAK black belt history sheet. All right. So that's what you need to do if you're on mobile. If you're on computer, it'll work just fine. You just scroll down. You see the sidebar that says MAK black belt history. Um, let's see. Look at the guidelines sheet that Miss Barbie sent to your parents. Uh, it it tells you you know you need extra uniforms, a lot of water. Your gear, bag gloves, um, all your weapons, a ton of stuff. Um, yeah. Also, special thanks to Tyler Rafa, Lily Morway, uh, uh, Sabrina Wright, Mr. Wright, and Mrs. Wright. All right. These people have been consistently showing up to the AK Form Review classes. All right. And they've been getting little bits and pieces of information that they they probably didn't know. All right. It's because. Like, this is stuff that I'm coming up with on, like, on the fly, well, not on the fly, but this is stuff I'm, like, coming up with on my own. I'm, I'm looking at forms and saying, how can I change this, or how can I add something to this to make it more, um, I don't know, more doable? How can I, how can I change it to make it seem more realistic, all right? Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's really fun, um, it's, but yeah, so... I want to thank these guys for showing up because it's been a great class, you know, for you guys, but it's also helped me a lot. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's fun teaching the class. It gives me something to work on. It, it helps me improve my karate because I don't normally think about this stuff unless, like, you know, I'm doing karate. So this is, um, I don't know, it's, it, it, it's a cool class, and I, I really appreciate you, you guys showing up and taking time out of your day that you don't have to do but you do it anyways um yeah so thanks guys